Hindi pong napapanood ang nagbabagang aksyon dito sa Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. At nakabit ng Water Defenders ang set number one. Panoorin natin mga highlights. We are seeing Aiko Ordas starting off strong. Pero syempre, laging nandyan para sa Lady Warriors si Myla Pablo. Alabanan also getting her work in. At ito yung pinag-usapan natin, Josh, sa dulo ng set na yon, the connection between setter and quicker. Well, yun nga ito, makita nga natin na uh, sa side ng ating uh, water defenders, gumawa halos lahat. Andun yung mga ating naging top scorers in the previous game. You had Malabanan, you have Sultones, you have Ordas. Pero syempre, sa side ng ating Lady Warriors, hindi naman nawawala si uh, Pablo, si Panaga. Malabanan and uh, Panaga leading the way with six apiece. At uh, Josh, it's always good to see na kahit yung mga middle blocker uh, namumuna sa scoring. And Panaga's got six for uh, her team. Thank you once again for joining us on SNA and Ton Rojas alongside three-time UAP champion from the Ateneo Blue Eagles, Josh Villanueva, joining us for the first time. And of course, we have Gangel Krishnan with us at courtside. Ooh! A service ace there para sa water defenders. Yun yung nagiging panlaban ngayon, Antonin, ng ating water defenders eh, yung kanilang service. Makita natin, kanina pa hindi na-establish itong Lady Warriors sa kanilang reception. Ay, here's another one. So they just matched the number of service aces that they got in the first set kasi nakadalawa sila sa first set. So right away, na-match nila yun. What a start for the water defenders. They really want to make it to the semis. Malabana, using her height. Casila, gliding, hitting. Nothing there. The ball, back set para kay Urtas. Look at the power. But look at Pablo dig that up. Casila, too strong on that attack. It's going to be a point for the water defenders. But ikaw na natin ang ating kasama si Genio Krishna. Well, Anton and Josh, kanina kung nasabi ko yung dinagdag ng Lady Warriors si Heather Ginoo, hindi rin naman nagpahuli ang water defender si Coach Royer Goreyev ay dinagdag din itong si Jel Cayuna na two games na nga itong been playing. Alam mo, kanina Anton and uh, Josh, sabi niyo nga yung tinaas ang laro ni Jerry Lee Malabanan. Sabi nga sa akin ni Jel, gusto niya din daw malaman kung may itataas pa daw ba ang kanyang laro. And of course, yung bahasa daw sa paglalaro kasama yung mga veterans player. Back to you, Anton and Josh? I think to Gant's report, uh, Josh, or following up to uh, with, with Gant, what Gant just shared, how do you think this will help Jeremy as she goes back to FEU para sa UAP? Yung experience niya dito. Well, yun nga, Anton, yung experience talaga mag, kumbaga mag establish isang player. Kumbaga, kung ano yung mapukulot niya mga lessons dito, kung ano yung matutunan niyang mga adjustments, madadala niya lahat din sa UAP kasi PBL is not just kumbaga, it's a different kumbaga, it's a different competition eh. It's a much higher level na pagdating sa UAG. Which is good kasi dito pa lang nagpapakita na siya ng mga, ng mga ganda performance and most, uh, most probably mapakita niya rin sa UAG. That is why Heather is also very interested in learning and uh, playing with these players na talagang uh, nakatulong kay Jerry Lee na ilabas ang kanyang potential dito sa PBL. Here's Jeremy Malabanan. Sharp serve. C. Look at her chase that volleyball. And could not get it up in the air properly. What a start, Josh, para sa water defenders. Talagang lumalapang kanina pa to sa service eh. Kung hindi ace, hindi mahatid ng maayos sa center. Malabanan. Gohing. C. Here's Nepomoceno. The board was ready. Sato, bigay kay Soltones and Gretzel Soltones. What a lovely cross-court shot. 8-1 to one ang ating talaan. The water defenders with a tsunami here inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center. Good Vibes Freeze Moment is brought to you by Cream Line. Magpa Good Vibes, Mag Cream Line. Creamy ice cream. <laughs> Everybody having a good time here as uh, we are approaching the end of the preliminary round, but uh, 
We're still not oh, sure kung uh, magsisimula na ang semifinals or kung magkakaroon pa tayo ng playoff. Depende yan sa kung ano mangyayari dito sa laban na to. So if the Water Defenders win, diretso na po tayo sa semis. But uh, if the Lady Warriors win, magkakaroon po tayo ng playoff sa pagitan ng Perlas at ng Water Defenders. See, giving it up to Paran. Pantone was there. Still very steady after all of these years. Paran, look at the blocking. Hindi lang sa block, Anton. Ay, hindi lang sa attack, sorry. Hindi lang sa attack kumagawa ng mga players dito sa ating water defenders. Kundi pati rin sa block. That was the middle blocker, Isa Sato. Grabe yung timing, Josh. Nakita natin sa replay. Sabay silang tumalot ni Aiko Ordaz. How do you develop that coordination? Well, sa amin kasi, Anton, ang magbibilang talaga is the wing spikers. Okay. Yeah. We would count, like, let's say, one to three. It depends, actually. If it's a high ball, it's a mas, mas, mas maraming ote. And this is the biggest lead of the match now para sa water defenders, 10 to 2. Nepomuseno. The boar, ooh. Running into the post there. Nepomuseno. Getting that elevation. Tsaka yung uh, form ni Kai Nepomuseno. Parang tumupi yung kanyang katawan sa ere. The full swing on that spike for Kai. Kitang-kita na ayaw pang move up nito ni Kai. Soltones showing us that power. Pantone. Nabor, binigay dito kay Gretzel. And Gretzel Soltones gets another point. And with a little adjustment, medyo mababa na yung set. Ayan po ang mga bagay na nakikita ni Josh Villanueva. Nakikita niya yung yung mga pagbabago sa sets and the adjustments that the players have to make on the fly. Now, Josh, what happened to the Lady Warriors here? How did they fall behind this big? Is it just the energy of the water defenders or are they still having problems with their reception? Well, yun yato, it's still reception. Eh. Like, ito, makita natin na hindi nahahatid ng maayos sa ating setter na si Giselle. Ooh! Walang po make-up doon. Everyone just looked. <laughs> and that was uh, Oliveros, Pantone, and Soltones there. Soltones. Nabor! And we know Jasmine Nabor can do that. She's been doing that way before, kahit din sa UAAP. Jasmine Abor, comfortable playing as a spiker and showing her spiking prowess once more. Si, binigay dito kay Dada. They're gonna need more of that. Impact points eh, yung mga quick attacks. And yung connection talaga eh. So Shishi Dadang is able to make her presence felt. One of the veterans na ito Dadang. Soltones. Nabor. Oliveros. With a dive right there by Paran. Pantone. Nabor. Binigay dito kay Malabanan. And Jeremy Malabanan. Iba, iba't ibang klase ng atake ang ginagawa ni Jeremy dito sa laban na to. Although medyo dikit ang set sa kanya, talaga nagawa niya pa ng paraan. <laughs> so we are really seeing the, the growth of Jeremy Malabanan. Getting a lot of opportunities here dito. So water defenders, pero ito si Myla Pablo. She's got to get her groove back. Myla Pablo, sir. Pantone. The boar. Malabanan again goes down the line. Nepomuceno was there. Paran fades back. Pantone. 
the bar. Sato, what timing by Jesse De Leon. One on one block. How did Jesse De Leon read that, Josh? Well, yun nga, talagang before you focus on the wing spikers and top, you have to focus first on the middle block of the other team. Kumbaga, you don't, you, you should never leave the kumbaga, yung middle blocker, which is your man talaga naman yun. So Jesse De Leon, inabangan talaga si Teresa Sato for impossible attack. And yun yung masarap, Anton, mga single block ka ng quick, lalo na sa quick. So for you, that's the most satisfying yeah, as a middle blocker. It's a quick play, eh. mm -hmm. it's a quick attack. And De Leon battling the board there at the top of the net. Jesse De Leon. And this is what you need from, from players like Jesse De Leon. Pag pinasok sila ni coach, nakakapag uh, bigay ng impact agad. Yes, Anton. The, yun nga yung sinasabi nga sa akin na yung kumbaga, the ability of a player. Makikita, hindi, makikita lang. Sorry, makikita lang. Ito sa pag-adjust niya, yung pag-deliver niya kahit na bench. Galing siya sa bench, kahit naging starter siya. Grabe, nayanig. Ang depensa sa napakatindip palo mula kay Risa Sato. May talagang connection ni Jasmine at ni Risa. And right now, the water defenders are just happier. And, and just having a lot of fun. As the water defenders lead the Lady Warriors here in set number two, 16, nine. Hi, Ate Mel. I'm Charlie Suarez from Laguna. Tanong ko lang kung ano yung feeling na nakalaro mo ulit yung teammates mo from La Salle sa Battle of the Rivals. Thank you. Hi, Charlize. Um, sobrang saya. As in, yung naglalaro kami, sobrang nag-reminisce kami. Kahit yung nasa dugout, nagkakwentuhan kami. It brought back Lots of good memories with my teammates back then. And then after after the game, nag bonding pa kami. So it's really good. It's really good to uh, bond with them, with my former teammates and my former coach. And that was indeed an, an epic match that uh, drew more than 13,000 fans at the Mall of Asia Arena to witness once again. Yung, uh, Epic rivalry sa pagitan ng Ateneo at Lasal. Uh, for every classic na talaga yun. Okay. It was a comeback win by the Lady Eagles after being down two sets to that. And Melissa Gohing now has a new mission. And she hopes to continue the winning ways na itong Lady Warriors. Pero sa, sa puntong ito, uh, malaki-laki na ang kanilang hahabulan, Josh. At kanina pa nagpapalitan sa blocking ang dalawang kuponan nito, Anton. This was expected dahil nga these are the top two teams pagdating sa blocking. Number one ang Water Defenders, number two naman ang Lady Warriors, Pantone. Oh, combination play para kay Urgas. Eighteen to ten is our tally. Oh, Audrey Parad. Regalo para sa kanya. So Parad, another player from from National University. We have a lot of players from NU here, actually. Sina Kaine Pumaseno, Urdas, Urdas, Nabor. Risa Sato. Risa Sato, that's right. Maila Pablo. Si <laughs> Jorel Singh, nandiyan pa. Maila Pablo. The former teammates, now competitors, competing against each other. Nabor. Sato, binigay dito kay Malabanan. And Jeremy Malabanan continues to impress us dito. 19 to 12. Kite offset na Anton eh. Talaga nagagawa ng para ni Jerry Lee. Nineteen to twelve. Susubukan ng water defenders na makamit ang set na ito, but malabanan sets that one long. Coach Roger with smiles. <laughs> Coach Roger with, with that uh, growing his hair out, hair out also. 
<laughs> Nepomuceno, cross court. The board. Soltones. Almost getting roofed there, but great recovery by Sato and Pantone. Nepomuceno. Wow, that, that was a. Uh, Nobody there to challenge Kai Nepomuceno. Yung pinag-uusap natin kanina doon, yung pag-deceive ng ating mga middle blockers. Pero yung mga ganyang play na sa side kung minsan. <laughs> Siyempre. <laughs> Napatalot eh. Yung mga blockers and uh, the skies were clear for Nepomuceno. They're trying to get a quick attack from Dadan. Out, Coach Rico de Guzman. Nadanyan <laughs> Well, Coach Rico has a military background, a senior officer sa Army, and he knows what it takes to win also. Dating kakampen ni Coach Romela Bella, Coach Emilio Kung Fu Reyes, uh, USD. They won two championships together back in 2001 and 2003. Now he's the mentor with the Lady Warriors. Yung mga ganyang coaches, Anton, yung mga nanggaling sa mga Army, sa mga Navy, dala niyang discipline sa team eh. Yung kumbaga, they treat kumbaga minsan yung mga players nila na parang mga soldiers na rin, mga ganyan. Do you get that sort of feel also under uh, Coach Oliver Almadro? How different is it under uh, Coach Oliver? Like Coach Oliver... Parang all around talaga siya. It's, he's like a father. Talagang he's there to commend you, to scold you. Yun yung maganda kay Coach Oliver. Eh. Talagang sa pagpapagalit sa mga players, lumalabas yung laro talaga. Eh. And Coach Oliver is happy kasi na yung pool smashers na nalo kanina. 7-0. And, and now Soltones and company hoping to barge into the semis. So to make it simple, para sa lahat ng mga manonood, kung mananalo po ang kumpunan ni Soltones, they are in the semis. And they will play the team of uh, the guy we were just talking about, si Coach Oliver Almadre, the semis. Pero syempre, it's not over until the last point is scored. Sabi ni Myla, hindi pa tapos. <laughs> Ang second set na to. Eh, kanina nga, di ba? Laki na ng lamang ng perlas. Nahabol pa yeah. ng goal smashers. Talagang bilog ang bola, Anton, pagdating sa volleyball. Soltones had to get that second ball. And there's Heather Gino, oh. Now in the match. Uh, this is a gutsy move by Coach Rico. Ah, the bagong player, Heather Ginoo, ginagamit dito sa napaka-crucial na situation. Last time, uh, last time out ko na yan. 23 pa na, hindi, 2 points pa na, hindi pa naman natatapos sa 25. Wala, malayo pa. Kaya pa natin habulan yan. Ladies, focus mo na kayo sa first ball. Hanggat hindi natatapos yan, huwag kayong uminto. Ah. Kaya natin yung malaban no, nabablock natin, nakakapalo tayo. Wala nga lang tayong first ball, wala tayong magandang kombinasyon. Ah, basahin nyo mabuti eh. Let's go! First ball pa rin. Uh, Pinopoint out Josh ni Coach Ringo. Talagang he sticks to that advice na yun talaga ang problema natin. Well, itong uh, Lady Warriors, they have a lot of uh, talented servers. And uh, although number six lang pagdating sa serving ang uh, Lady Warriors in the league, they're showing, showing some great skill in that department here in this particular match. 
23 to 16. Any error will be costly dito para sa Lady Warriors. Jasmine na board, napakatalino. Umawi eh, kung kanina na block siya. Sabi niya, hindi na, hindi na ngayon. Jasmine na And yung maganda doon sa pagmagaroon ka ng center na left hand. Kumbaga, it's her... Kumbaga, that's her... Kumbaga, what do you call this? It's her advantage. Built-in advantage. Yeah, tama. Kasi she just needs her left hand in order to drop the ball. Adjustment kasi yan sa blocker, yeah. ano, pag lefty. Panoorin natin. Instant impact. Jurel Singh, kakapasok lang. First ball talaga. First ball. Y yung binabanggit kanina pa ni Coach Rico de Guzman. Jurel Singh making an impact. At ngayon, 2-0 na. Lady Warriors trailing the Water Defenders. And we will see kung uh, kayang walisin ng Water Defenders ang Lady Warriors when we come back for set number three. You're watching the PVL Open Conference dito lang sa SNA.